dancers. Welcome back to Dance Colleges and Careers. My name is Brittany. I'm your host, and I am here to help you navigate the college application process while killing it at dance competitions. Today, we are going to talk about the hair. I've talked about hair several times, so I hate to harp on it again, but I just need you to know that when you come out for your audition or on stage for competition, if I see a dancer with clean hair, I'm expecting them to have clean technique. Messy hair, I'm already expecting to see messy technique. Do you want to start and me to go, okay, oh wow, they're actually really good. Or do you want me to sit back and go, oh, this is going to be really good. The second one, the second one, obviously you want to step out on stage with the best possible first impression. So that means you have to nail your entrance and you need to look like a million bucks because the competition is too fierce. You can't afford to have messy hair. Let me just be clear with you. If you have a bun in, if you have a ballet bun in your hair and you don't know how to do it, if it looks like you've only done it four times in your life, then I don't believe that you go to ballet class. I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just trying to explain the perception. So let me reiterate, first impressions are so important. As a judge, I see clean hair probably equals clean technique. So if you have not mastered this, it's not too late, but it's time to practice. You have to practice fixing your hair. Especially if you've had hair change and you haven't practiced in the studio the, ha- the way your hair will be on the stage. I'm not saying you can't have a clean ponytail or hair down, but it is one element that can make a group seem messier. If a ponytail comes out, I know you don't practice like that. If your bun comes out, I know you don't practice like that. The way we dress, the way we present ourselves has to be practiced the same way we practice our facial expressions, our technique, and our musicality. So I just want to get to the point. If you are not already practicing your hair in rehearsal the way it will be on stage, you're already putting yourself at a disadvantage than many other studios and many other people you're going to be competing against. I feel really strongly about this because when I was your age, I had hair down to my butt. I had hair down to my butt. It fell out all the time. I did not have it, I I couldn't figure out how to secure it. I could not figure out how to keep a ponytail in. In the end, I kind of designed this crazy hairdo where I would put it in a bun up here, a bun up here, and then I would tie it together with another elastic and it would pull my, it would pull my hair so tight. I'm I'm probably lucky I still have any hair on the top of my head, but that's what I had to do. Now, I don't really think that was the best solution because that's not what I did when it came to the stage, but I was trying to figure it out. You need help figuring it out? I'll be happy to help you. Step one, use hairpins. So when I put my hair in a ponytail, even now, if I don't want my ponytail to come out, I'll hairpin it in and I can feel it secure tight to my head. It's not pulling as tight as it used to, but it's secure with hairpins. Let me give you a couple tips. So if you have a ballet bun in and it's sticking out, that is not a dance bun. I, I think it might be more like a gymnastics bun. Like I feel like I see that or it's kind of stylistic. If you watched Keely from Ted Lasso, she has that fun bun that sticks out so much. That's not servicing you as a dancer. The ballet style is to have a flat bun, right? Not to stick out and give you a weird line back here, but flat against the head to really help complete our lines. And so before we go, let me give you a quick flat bun description in case you're like, well, that's all a great idea, Brittany, but how the heck am I supposed to do that? This idea is only for people with long hair because I've only had long hair my whole entire life. So follow me, here we go. Ponytail, it has to be a tight ponytail. It cannot be a loose ponytail. Obviously we would have combed back all of our bumps. With a bun, you even can do it now. You can put your ponytail in and then comb it because you're going to cover all that with your bun. Next, this is what I like to do. Twist it as tight as you can. Place the second hand on top of the bun, flat in as much as possible, and circle it around. Now, with the tail, just like a balloon, you're going to tuck that tail into the center of the bun. I'm going to stick it all the way through so you can see it. See, it came out here through the center. Great. Now, 
Look at that. I have a perfect bun that's not going to fall out. And I don't even have any pins in it. Now what I would do is I'm going to put four pins. One, two, three, four, six, probably if I'm going on stage. Huh. So six, four to six pins. You go out into it and into the hair tie. It should feel totally secure to the head. If it's not secure, then you have to do it again. If it's not secure, it will fall out. And watching a bun fall out on stage is one of the most unprofessional things I could see. It's a bun. It's the dancer hairdo. You have to master a hair bun. And I haven't even gone through the process of putting a hair net over it or flattening it. And we did that in 10 seconds. That's all we need for today. I just want to remind you clean hair equals clean technique. You don't want to start low and have to earn your points back. You want to start high and I have and make me chisel away when we have technical errors. I'm telling you this because I love you and I care about you and I don't want your hair to fall out on stage. If you have hair kind of like me and still have more questions, feel free to reach out and I will try to help however I can because this is a growing pain that I've had forever and finally figured it out. So I'm here for you. Thanks for joining us here at Dance Colleges and Careers. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and we will see you in the next video.